cuboid 360 degrees in all directions and up and down. Oh my gosh, Minecraft's amazing. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. You have probably seen panoramas where you either take your phone and slide it slowly across you know, your scene and then your phone stitches that together into one large image or possibly if you have an Android phone, uh, what they call photospheres where you basically take your phone and move it all around in 360 degrees and up and down so that you can get a nice uh, representation of what you're seeing in real life. Well, pulling this off in Minecraft is pretty difficult because you have to look exactly in the directions and then stitch it all together and it can be a pain in the butt. But there is a solution. A mod that I've covered in a previous episode of OMG Craft Quark for all of the little things that it adds into Minecraft has this panorama feature built in. So let's check it out. So here we are inside a, uh, a cool little world uh, that I uh, downloaded and we are going to take a panorama screenshot. Now we are using Quark, which we showed off uh, before, which adds all sorts of interesting things into the game, but uh, this is just one little thing. So, uh, I've actually done this already, and this is exactly how I'm going to be standing for this pano. So, we're going to get this whole area in here, and we'll be able to look at it later. Now, quick uh, thing of note, as it takes this pano, what's going to happen is it's going to basically hit F1 for me, this is all going to happen very fast. Uh, look north, take a photo. Look right, take a photo. Look back, take a photo. Look to my left, take a photo. Uh, look up and then look down and take a photo. So it's going to do that all very, very quickly. Now you may notice my aspect ratio is in a little bit of a weird, normally I'm at 70. Uh, but if you put it exactly at 91, these photos will stitch together just right. If you have it a little bit, if you have it uh, here at normal, it will take it too zoomed in. And anyway, it's just, this is the Goldilocks area that uh, you need it to be. 91 is exactly where you need your field of view to be. Then you're gonna hit control or command on a Mac, control on a PC, control shift. So you're gonna shift down and then whatever your screenshot key is. And for me, it is F12. So go ahead, do that and boop. You can see all, I just like zoom all around and uh, it looks pretty cool. We could do that again. Whoosh, um, pretty neat. So what that has done is now it has put that on my hard drive. And of course we could go around and take photos uh, wherever we want. So let's go and look at that. Uh, now where does it put them? Well, this is, uh, I'm using the curse launcher. So these are all my various uh, profiles uh, inside of there there is a screenshots file now and uh, this is just in that same area that you would put your mods so you're going to go into screenshots panoramas and then we have all of these various panoramas that we just took you can see them all right here i accidentally dragged this folder into the panoramas folder. i don't remember where that went so you can see these are our, the photos that we took i uh, started off facing this way towards the uh, bookstore and then moved around. Now these aren't the highest resolution photos, uh, but they don't need to be. Now, what can you do with these once uh, once you have them? Well, first off, if uh, you have a panorama viewer, you can add them in. So you can see that I have this viewer here. This is the KR Pano. I'm in the demo version as the watermark uh, shows off. Uh, and you can see exactly kind of where this stitches together right here has yeah, you know, just an itty bitty bit off right there. It looks a little bit weird or maybe this uh, this right here. Uh, it's a cube that, you know, was taking a photo of in a cube. So it's uh, doing a little bit of interpolation. There's a, a screenshot. So you can see a little bit, of, you can see the edges, but it gives you a really good impression of where we were standing and what was going on. So we can look around this area pretty nicely. Another nice effect, this was a little bit of a, a pain to get working, uh, running a server and stuff like that. So uh, if you don't want to do something like that, don't worry. Uh, all you have to do is uh, go into this panorama area 
and see how these are all named based off of the date? Well, you can rename any of those to be main underscore menu, whoop, just like that. Here, let's actually do it to this one. There we go, enter, uh-oh, no, no, you, delete, yes, you, this one, enter, there we go. Uh, and now, when you save and quit, the main menu, look at that, will show uh, the pano that you took. And I just happen to know from taking these panos all the time, a good place to look to make sure that uh, it worked is right here on this step. And it looks like it did it just fine. Uh, so now you can actually use your panorama to your benefit and have a... Uh, a panorama that is your own of maybe your own base or your own world back there behind the main menu, which is pretty darn cool in my opinion. Big thank you to the mod developer of Quark for making this possible. Also, big thank you to the map maker. I showed off uh, Valor, Valcor City by a Rustic Cat, or at least I think it's Rus it may be Rustic Cat. Uh, big thank you to you for creating that map. Finally, that field of view that I set to 92, I, I realize now that it may be also my video resolution, uh, so you may have to play with that if you're on a smaller screen or if you maybe not be at exactly 16 by 9 aspect ratio when you play the game. Uh, so you may have to play around with that in order to get the edges to line up just perfectly. But this has all sorts of uses once you created it. If you're making a mod pack, this is a great background uh, to have because creating this by hand, I couldn't imagine. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. And I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Make sure you subscribe. Bye!